Movement doesn't always matter, but sometimes it does. Just like the pantomimes would tell stories through movement. We at MIME believe movement is a powerful way to convey story, to convey information, to convey concern, to convey behavior. Movement matters. If you ever played sports and you had a coach trying to convey what you should do in the next play, they would have X's and O's on a board. You didn't have to worry about if the sun was shining, if they were wearing red, if they felt good. None of that mattered. To bring MIME to life, it requires the best that AI, machine learning, and computer science has to offer. You say, well, it seems fairly simple. Well, it's definitely simple in the components we need to do. We need to detect people. We need to locate them. We need to understand their path through a space. It requires it in a handful of areas, fairly simple to understand, complex to execute. So in addition to detecting them and positioning them, we have to know their path through the space. So three devices may pick up a person as it's walking by. This helps us overcome occlusions or things that might be blocking it from one camera. But we're able to generate this path from one movement to another. We don't do this via facial detection and some visual feature search. We do this by a motion vector. We actually know that that's the same person walking from here to there. And that requires uh, methods from other industries, including AeroAstro, as well as computation. Once we have detected it, positioned it, and have its path, we now exist in a world of dots. So now we can deploy AI and machine learning techniques to extract intelligence from these dots so that we understand which patterns matter, which ones we should respond to. One of the benefits from operating in dot space is you're not looking at people. What matters is the motion. And only when there's an incident do we then engage the visual that we've captured, but it's secondary to motion. So this is one of the benefits of dots, which I think are uh, much more appropriate than just staring at the video of everybody that walks through your space. Movement can tell us about what's happening in a physical space. There were professionals there who were watching monitors, hundreds of video cameras, looking for movements that matter. But where is that processing happening? It's happening in their head as they look at video. But let's imagine instead the world was different and we could take them out of that chair and we could move them up to a God's eye view, but not a God's eye view of the visual, a God's eye view directly of movement. And my belief is this ability to sense movement directly matters. You now have the total path of the person through your space. Where did they stop? Why? Did they go from that campaign to the thing they were going to buy? Did it somehow make their experience better because you understood their motion? So the actual experience can change in ways that will actually drive new revenue. It will increase the opportunity you have to delight your customers. I think understanding movement in your space can help in three areas. It can help you understand the experience people are having as they travel through your space. It can help you make your space more efficient. And to do that, we will be able to see if a gate is backed up, if uh, someone's fallen, if an escalator is not working. These things will appear immediately, which allow for immediate response. But you also collect that data every day over the course of all your buildings, over all of time, which will help you redesign buildings in the future or modify existing buildings to make them more efficient. And finally, from a safety standpoint, very simply, when you're looking at motion space, within a second, we can trigger off a motion pattern that's concerning. So if you see a bunch of dots that then scatter, um, maybe they're playing a game. Maybe somebody's just pulled a gun. Regardless, you can see that. You can make your space safer. So the real question for us is we know what MIME can do. We believe MIME-enabled spaces will be powerful and change the experience. Our question is, what can a MIME-enabled space do for you? It's time that the spaces that we visit as groups of people also evolve to understand our movement collectively. I believe that if we can imagine a world where all of our spaces are enabled by MIME, we will see that movement matters.